All right. Howdy, 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 howdy. Corey's Comedy Channel right here, man. I'm going to really be going down in a blaze of flames here with this one, Joe. I tell you what, hold on. Buckle your seatbelt, man, because we're getting wild. We're getting crazy. Hey, guys. Thanks a lot for tuning in. This is uh, your host, Corey. Corey's Comedy Channel. It's just me and it's Joe. And we're taking talking about cowboy jokes. Hope you guys like them cowboy jokes. And uh, now when you see cowboys, a lot of times you, they're going to be wearing a kind of a hat. kind of looks like this right here, this one I got on. It's a hat that uh, never goes out of style. It uh, looks ridiculous all year round, if you know what I mean, right? <laughs> looks ridiculous all year round, yeah. It's a 10-gallon hat on a 2-gallon head, if you know what I mean. But uh, I used to be a cowboy. They used to call me tall on the saddle till my blister popped. A lot of crickets out there, okay. Anyways, guys, so I don't know if you remember that song, Jimmy Crack Corn? Joe, did you ever hear that? Jimmy Crack Corn? For those of you who don't know it, it used to go, Jimmy Crack Corn and I don't care. Jimmy Crack Corn and I don't care. If Jimmy Cracks Corn and nobody cares, why did they write a song about this guy? That's what I want to figure out. But uh, I want to tell you guys a little bit about my grandpa. Now, my grandpa was a cowboy, lived on a farm his whole life. And um, he only actually slept in once in his life. And that was the day the rooster had uh, laryngitis. And he got to sleep in. You know what I mean? Anyways, uh, you know, we're talking about cowboy jokes. In my personal opinion, there's only two things you're going to see on the back of a bull. Yeah, and that's one is a fly and the other is a fool because uh, you got cowboys. But we're talking about cowboys, guys. Now, that's wide open range here, man. If we're talking cowboys, that gives me open range. I got, I got barn jokes. I got farm jokes, rancher jokes, cowboy jokes, cowgirl jokes. We got chickens. We got... Uh, sheep we got bulls we got horses we got hats we got you name it right got a lot of subjects here but my question that i that i want to <laughs> my que the question i want to know is why they call them cowboys you know they don't ride cows well i guess if you're a buck and bronco you might ride a cow but uh shouldn't why don't they call them horse boys cowboys they don't ride cows, you know, they ride horses around. Should be called horse boys, in my opinion. But uh, before we get started with the jokes, I'm going to give you a little bit of cowboy wisdom for some of you guys out there listening. Uh, we got some wise cowboys out there. So let me give you three bits of business here in the cowboys for the cowboy wisdom. Um, one would be don't ever squat with your spurs on, right? Yeah, don't ever do that. Okay. Um, number two would be, don't dig for water underneath the outhouse, if you know what I mean. And number three would be, don't mess with anything that's not bothering you. That's some good cowboy wisdom right there. Anyways, guys, so, uh, you know, that thing is really starting to bother me. Hey, I don't even know what that is. Billy Kidd was, uh, he was a cowboy, right, Joe? A gunslinger? Do you know what Billy the Kid and, what's the other guy's name? Billy the Kid and uh, Kermit the Frog. You know what they had in common? Same middle name. You know, Billy the Kid, Kermit the Frog. <laughs> okay, all right guys. I'm proof that you don't have to be a farmer to be outstanding in your field. You know what I mean? Guys, if you want to be a cowboy now, you got to be tough, right? Now, I want to dedicate this show to my dad because my dad's a cowboy. Uh, he's more country than cornflakes, if you know what I mean. And he's tough, too. So he's tougher than a $2 steak. Yeah, when we were growing up, if you only had one black eye, you were considered a sissy. So my dad, he, uh, he raised us tough. But uh, we get some, let's get on with some uh, cowboy jokes here for you. Now, we're talking... Uh, we're talking cowboy jokes, so I can talk about anything I want that has to do with cows, right? Cows and cowboys and farms and ranches and that kind of stuff. So, uh, woodpeckers now. What about, you know, do you know that woodpeckers are smarter than chickens? Did you know this? Woodpeckers are smarter than chickens. Have you ever heard of a Kentucky Fried Woodpecker? No, you haven't. That's true. Now, you know the two sexiest animals on the farm. You guys know what that is? Two sexiest animals on the farm? You got the brown chicken, brown cow, brown chicken, brown cow. 
brown chicken, brown cow. You know, remember the, that old uh, disco from the, I think, 70s, 80s? You know, bow, chicken, bow, bow. Brown chicken, brown cow. <laughs> okay. You know what happens when, Joe, when you play country and western music backwards? You get your boat back, your cat back, your dog back, your house back. Yeah, play it backwards. Um, oh, here's a good one for you guys. If you like cowboy jokes, I'm not supposed to be touching the hat. I get messages in the comments. You know who you are, you guys are out there. You're like, hey, Corey, you touch your hat a lot, so I don't want to touch that. Sorry about that. Um, so what was, where was I at? I got a great memory, it's just short. Um, oh, do you know the difference between... No, 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 no that's not... Do you know, guys, let me, tell, let me ask you a question here. Do you know what a slinky and a cowboy have in common? They're both fun to watch tumble down the stairs. <laughs> Why did the chicken cross the road? Yeah, you're speechless. Yeah, why did the chicken cross the road? Don't ask me, ask the chicken. <laughs> ah, yeah. This is a real man's stick right there, a toothpick. I actually did magic for the president of the Toothpick Association. But, uh, oh, here's one for you. You guys know, a lot of you guys out there remember John Wayne, right? I know my dad, that's his uh, hero. Everybody needs a hero. Uh, that's my dad's hero, John Wayne. But uh, we had about three blocks down, we actually had a street named John Wayne. But they had to take it down because nobody crosses John Wayne and lives. So I went to see my doctor the other day. He says, uh, Corey, you need to cut back on them eggs. Them eggs, they're not good. They're bad for your heart. But if that's true, how come you never see a chicken wearing a pacemaker? Joe, I mean, come on, gee whiz. Can you play some different music? Man. Okay, guys, so I'm going to leave you with this one. I got a trick question for you. You guys like trick questions? Uh, Joe, you're smart. You're a smart guy. You, and you're a good egg. Joe's a good egg. Good egg there, ain't you, Joe? And you know where eggs come from. But if you guys, if you're out there, if you're listening, trick question. If you saw an egg floating down the Mississippi River, where did it come from? A chicken. Joe, let me ask you a question. If, if pigs could fly, would the price of bacon skyrocket? If pigs could fly, would the price of bacon skyrocket? Hey, you guys. So, hey, listen, man. If I'm entertaining you, hit the like button, would you? Anyways, guys, uh, you know I'm going down in a blaze. <laughs> blaze of flame. Um, <clears throat> always look out for number one and never step at number two. Joe, I think that wasn't your dad, wasn't your dad, uh, your grandpa, wasn't he a cowboy? Yeah, did he die drinking milk? Cow fell on him? Yeah, that's what I thought. Not the sharpest tool in the shed, if you know what I mean. All right, guys, since we're going down with the blaze of flame, might as well do something here. And I'll do a quick card trick for you guys with a deck of playing cards. Let's go ahead. We'll just have one selected. Keep it real simple. Uh, let's do this real quick. A lot of cowboys come from Texas, so there's a Texas fan. That's my biggest fan. Yeah, my cousin was in Texas. He said they found a mosquito that was so big, they found six ticks on it. But uh, let's do this real quick since we're already, we're already going down. Why not? Might as well just go the rest of the way. We're sinking fast. All right, here we go, guys. Just as I go through the pack, uh, just say stop wherever you like. Doesn't matter where it is. Okay, we'll do it quick. You got that? All right. Don't forget it. Repeat it over and over. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the hat. Hope you like the hat here. Let's give him another shuffle. Here we go. Take the hat. Dribble the cards into the hat. I almost like a magic trick. How does he do it? Oh, Joe over here, he couldn't ad lib his way out of a fart after a bus and bean bake off. Joe, you're a good egg though. Oh, you guys know it. Yeah, Joe, wasn't that your, uh, that was your wife, right? Didn't she go to the doctor and the doctor said, open up your mouth and say, moo, or, I mean, ah. Hey, Joe, you know the difference between in-laws and outlaws? Outlaws are wanted. You know, like Billy the Kid. Didn't I tell you the joke about Billy the Kid? You know, Joe, Joe, you know what? 
every time. You know what? Every single time that we're shooting these videos, you're over there, you're doing all kinds of crazy stuff, you know? Joe, you know what? I'm just telling you right now. You know what? I'm telling you right now. You couldn't ad lib your way out of a fart after a Boston Bacon Bake Off. Okay. Joe, I'm, trying to, I'm telling you right now. You couldn't ad lib your way out of a fart after a Boston Bean Bake Off. Joe, let's play. Let me tell you what. You know what, Joe? Joe. Joe. Joe, I'll tell you what. Let me tell you something. Let's play a game. I'll talk. You listen. My ideal conversation is 99% me talking, 1% you listen. If I want to hear anything out of you, I'll take off the duct tape. And I'm trying to do a show. Sorry, is this thing on? Are you rolling the tape right now, Joe?